with the mirror doing another one y'all this is a quick one day hope everybody's doing well hope everybody is starting off the week good (laughs) i had a big pricey start off this week car repair but it's all right it'll get taken care of but i hope everybody's doing well this is just a quick one today because i have my regular podcast tomorrow tuesday but i had a crazy dream the night before about the narcissist if you know me some of y'all know about that but not too crazy but it was just out the blue and weird but hope everybody's doing well hope everybody is starting to think think about what you're doing how your choices are affecting your life and the consequences everything has a consequence either good or bad sometimes you you know you can do something and nothing happens but most of the time we're affected by the good or the bad but did have a strange dream it was strange to me (laughs) so what was my dream about the setting was a college lecture weird narcissist college lecture yeah that doesn't go together (laughs) but a college lecture i was and actually i was like not in the audience of the lecture or the students in the in the lecture i know everything means something in a dream you have dream meanings but i was actually sitting on the floor next to the instructor with a a group of children and i think one of my one or two of my kids might have been there that kind of came to me but not 100 percent for sure but there was a group of children there and I was interacting with the children while this lecture was going on. And behind the instructor were three windows. And I could see through the windows. Weren't, weren't big windows, but medium, not, not even medium, maybe like 12 by 9, 12 by 11, just something like that size, like pickaboo windows. <laughs> and I could see the narcissist in, uh, not, I'm not sure what room he was in, a bedroom, maybe, I don't know, but there were two women with him, bikinis, Santa Claus hats, like they were celebrating Christmas. Every body had like Christmas lights on he had on his Santa hat they had on their Santa hats they were just having a good time a threesome I don't I, look three windows three people threesome I don't know <laughs> and I watched this for a few minutes and then at some point he looked through the window and he saw me and 
came through a door in the back of the classroom. Yes, y'all, this is this is a dream. So he comes through the door and he starts, okay, there's all of these people in the lecture and the teacher and he starts ragging on me oh i'm this you're this you're that you're no good you did this you do that he does this for a while and i, I just sit there i didn't say a word but everybody's looking and then at some point he just goes back in the door so i was like okay that was over this is done let's get back to the lecture the lecture starts back up i figured that was done and in this lecture, there are there are all kinds of people. It's a, a diverse um, classroom. There are old men, young women, Oriental women, white men, young younger people. It's just everybody that was there. And I did take note of that. Not sure what that meant, <laughs> but everybody was there. So the lecture goes on for a bit. And then he comes back through the door in a, I, I thought like, um, uh, what is it? A shamrock suit green. <laughs> Look, it was that green, like a Steve Harvey green. <laughs> Bright green suit with a, like a derby hat on. Like he came back to impress everyone and he starts again ragging on me and I, I start backing up because he's coming closer to me and as he comes closer some of the men in the audience stand up even the older men it was an older gentleman like really old like an elder they they stood up uh, another white young teenager man stood up and they kind of stood in front of me and then he finished his spiel and what i was thinking was oh he's trying to get attention that's all this is this is just a, a, a ploy for attention and then i woke up y'all that was it <laughs> like, that was my dream it was not a big dream but out of the blue lots of different things in there and i did go look up like what does it mean to have a dream if you're in a lecture you know what does that mean so schools colleges and universities uncover hidden dream meetings this is something i looked up the meaning of this dream is clear you need to move forward in your life to learn new abilities and skills that will help you grow as an adult and maybe it wasn't even about him maybe it was about me if you see an image of a school or you're involved in school life, this indicates that you may be learning how to handle the people around you in the waking life. Generally, a school often appears when you are contemplating whether to take a course of action. Uh -oh. <laughs> in your dream, you may have found yourself in your dream back at college, a university or a school sat in a classroom, been in an unfamiliar school or boarding school, had to take an exam without any preparation, encountered the inability to answer questions from the teacher, walking into school to teach others, being unable to communicate with other students due to a lack of preparation. That might be, that might be it too. <laughs> Look, but lecture dream, this is another a piece of a search on Google. Google is your friend. Use it. Lecture dream, meaning why do you dream of attending a lecture? The dream interpretation explains you will get useful information, make an important conclusion. You need to concentrate. That might be it too, y'all. Look, a dream vision also promises a conversation with an uninteresting into i don't know what that word is into local into low cooter i don't know what that is but, but maybe it's about school maybe it's about concentrating more but i i have no idea why that person was in there <laughs> positive changes are afoot if the dream is enjoyable 
was kind of enjoyable because I understood, okay, they're still doing the same thing. Um, there were actually people there to protect me and help me. And then there were also women there um, understanding. Because I did make a couple of comments like, as he was telling all these things about me that he was making up, I was like, well, what did you do? What, what was your part? So, yeah, everybody always wants to tell their part of the story. What about the other person's part of the story? Well, y'all, yes, that was just a little dream I had. And I didn't want to talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> like, waste my energy on that on my real day. But, yes, definitely your dreams are important. Like I said, I've had dreams that warned me about this person that I kind of ignored and just shunned off. But definitely go take a look at your dreams. If you're definitely having dreams about bad things and, you know, people doing bad things to you or trying to hurt you, use you, abuse you, that's a warning. That's a red flag. You don't have dreams like that about people that love you and are, um, you know, helping you, taking care of you, just just being there for you. You don't have bad dreams about people like that. So if you're having bad dreams about people, take note, please take note. That's a warning. Definitely <laughs> take note. All right, y'all, that was just a quick one I wanted to do today. I should have did this earlier. I waited till late. It's already 10 o'clock. But I hope everybody um, has a good rest of the week. Enjoy your week. Start thinking. Start making changes. Start becoming aware of the part you're playing in your life. Because it's all about you. It is. Stop blaming other people. I heard some woman say, I think I, dang, I, I did make a note of that. I heard one of my Facebook friends, don't really know her. She mentioned that if she starts to lose weight, and this, this is a summary of what she said. If she starts to lose weight, she said she had looked at one of her friend's DMs that all these men were in her DMs and is she going to have to deal with that and girl if you need to lose weight and become healthier you do that why are you worried about the attention you're going to get from men and losing weight that has nothing to do with each other but think about what you're doing and what you're saying think all right, y'all. That has been my Real Talk with the Mirror podcast. Everybody have a wonderful night. Peace. Thank you.